That was the shot that sealed Gonzaga's win over Washington tonight. Joel Ayayi came up clutch. The Zags pulled off the win 83 to 76. Thanks so much for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Tim Pham. Karthik's joining us now. What a game, Karthik. Every time we thought Gonzaga was going to pull away, Washington had the answer. Yeah, but they, it seemed like Gonzaga had a response every single time. You know, after that, it felt like an NCAA tournament game, just the back and forth between these two teams. And at the end of the day, Gonzaga added yet another resume win, wow. a good win against a Washington team. Creme 2's Brenna Green out in Seattle for this game. She breaks it down with what coaches and players had to say about the big win. What a win for Gonzaga in Seattle tonight. A gutsy 83-76 dub over you, Dub. I know you guys just saw that Joel Ayayi three, but we're going to run it back again because it was such a pivotal moment in this game. 27 seconds left. And that shot puts Gonzaga up by six points, pretty much nullifies any chance of a comeback for the Huskies. Ayayi shot four of 13 on the evening, but he made the shot when it counted. Somebody had to take it, and uh, it was not a great night for, my, uh, for me shooting-wise, but I felt really confident taking that shot. I feel like I worked on it, and bang. He's just playing with so much confidence, you know. He's always had confidence. I you know, early on, I thought it was a little misguided confidence, but uh, uh, now it's, it, to his credit, it's coming to fruition. I mean, he's a, a great example of just believing in yourself and staying with it. And, and you know, when he finally got a, a real chance with some extended minutes, he's really making the most of it, and he's really became a valuable piece of what we're doing right now. This was a game of haymakers. Gonzaga and UW going back and forth and back and forth. Gonzaga had five players in double figures. The Huskies had four. One of the keys of this game, though, is that Washington was never able to overcome the Zags. Gonzaga led from the 17 minute point in the first half until the very end of this game. The Huskies would get within two a couple times, but that was as close as they would get. This was an electric environment here in Seattle. This game will definitely prove to be fruitful down the road for the Zags. Unbelievable college basketball game. Great environment and uh, both teams just giving it all they got. And just big play after big play, big shot after big shot. Uh, and we just made, you know, one or two more. But I'm really, really proud of our guys. You know, at the start of this year with all the new faces we had, I wondered how we'd be in tough environments against really good opponents like this. And uh, they really responded. We, 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 you know, we did what we had to do. They were louder than Kendall lately. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was hard to hear, uh, especially in the beginning. And when they came when they came back, when it was a post game, they were they were loud, and it was it was tough to hear, you know. But we were communicating, you know, by hands, symbols, and it was, I mean, great atmosphere, just fun to play in. And I mean, I like it. I love it. Get us get us all fired up, and um, when you get a dub, it's even better. One other note from Seattle tonight, Anton Watson did play in this matchup after sitting out the last few games with an ankle sprain. He didn't score at all and he only played eight minutes, but still positives towards moving in the right direction. The tests don't stop for the Zags. They have this week off and then they head to Arizona on Saturday to play the number 12 Wildcats at 7 p.m. on ESPN2. Reporting in Seattle, I'm Brenna Green from Two Sports.